I have a tutorial here today for those of you editing video on Sony Vegas Pro. This, or not Sony Vegas Pro anymore, now it's just Vegas Pro because Magix owns it. Uh, so this applies to pretty much all version of Vegas all the way back from like 11 or 9 maybe even all the way up to 14 which is the newest. If you want to render more than one video at once, not at the same time but like in sequence without having to start and stop new renders, uh, kind of like Adobe's Media Encoder, I have a solution for you. And this isn't a new concept but apparently people don't know it and for those of you still editing on Vegas this is pretty useful to to maintain your editing efficiency if you, you know, edit a bunch of Let's Play episodes at the same time you can then render them out and render them out all at once, you know, leave it going overnight without having to render out each video separately. So you have a couple options for doing this. Either you've made your episodes all on the same timeline and just have them spaced out, and then what you would normally do is just use the little handles to highlight episode one, tell it to render, then use them to highlight episode two, tell them to render that, and so on. You can actually use those highlighting bars so drag on the with the playhead and select your first episode but instead hit R or right click and hit uh, create region and this creates a video region for it to use to define what is essentially a standalone video then do this for each of your videos on your timeline select them all hit R give it a name because uh, that will affect the render so say like you know such and such let's play episode one or just episode one something you'll know and do that for every episode on your timeline. Make sure they have enough space between them so the regions are separated. Once you're done, save your project. Then go up to go up to Tools, Scripting, and then choose Batch Render. Now in this box, you will need to select a render preset. The render preset will not be you will not have the preset editor like you do in the normal render menu. So you will need to have your render preset created ahead of time. Find it. Uh, change where you render to to an appropriate thing and give it a title preset now after that underscore It's going to add whatever the renders called so make sure that underscore is there try to keep your titles You know cohesive so you know what's what the big thing is next to okay You need to have render regions selected instead of render selection or project if you choose render regions It will render each one of those videos separately as separate videos, which is hugely useful if you've recorded this big old game session and wanted to chop it up into multiple episodes. Alternatively, if you've edited your project and have each episode in separate Sony Vegas projects, you can actually create another Sony Vegas project that's just your like render project and drag those other .veg Vegas files into the project media manager, then drag them onto the timeline and do the same thing. Uh, another reason you might want to do this is if you don't want to risk like your individual edits getting messed up or something like that then you only have one file that you're selecting still apply the regions and go to tools scripting batch render but this time you don't have a risk of like screwing up any of the uh yeah, the, the the clips or the length of it or anything like that just make sure you have your resolution frame rate and so on set to the same thing in both project settings and then disable resample or whatever you need to do Fairly straightforward, it can save you a lot of time from having to render one episode, then go back, highlight the new one, render the next episode, and so on. Unfortunately, you don't get any sort of pausing capability like Adobe Mini Encoder, but it's still kind of nice. Hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, smash the like button, get subscribed for more awesome tech videos, consider contributing to the project and channel over on Patreon, and I will see you in the next one. EpostVox is a Patreon-supported production. Our videos would simply not be possible without the support and generosity of our patrons, whom you can see on screen right now. If you'd like to join the inner circle and get early access to videos, among other things, go to patreon.com slash to learn more.